Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and in this video, we are talking about knives with tall flat grinds. So, flat grinds, when the geometry is done right, they can be the best cutting knives or the best knives or the best cutting geometry, just depending on how thick the spine is and how tall the flat grind is and how thin it is behind the edge. So there's full flat grinds, there's saber grinds. So this is almost a full flat. As you can see, it does have a swedge right here, but the flat grind goes up to about right there. So it's still a nice tall flat grind. This is the Steel Will Cut Jack. They also make these in M390 and G10. This one is FRN and D2. Let's get to the next one because we have quite a few to get through. Next, USA made the TRM Atom. Now the TRM Atom is a nice tall flat grind, not quite a full flat. Right here it's a full flat, but you can see that uh, where the grind ends, great slicer. Now the geometry with this comes from its very thin blade stock. Being such a thin blade stock, it doesn't necessarily need to be extremely thin behind the edge. So this thing is an extremely good cutter. The TRM Atom USA made, they make it where you can easily change these scales out. You just remove that screw and that screw and the scale pops off, you can pop new ones back on. Awesome, awesome knife. Next, the Tucson TS243. Now, this one is a full flat grind. And you can see how tall the flat grind is. It does get nice and thin behind the edge, but this thing has a very thick handle. So not only does it have really good cutting geometry, it also has extremely good ergos. Squeezing this is super comfortable and you get up nice and close to the blade. So this is definitely a great cutter. 14C 28M blade steel. I believe that's what steel this one is. It might be M390 actually. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it is 14C 28N. They wrote it right there. But awesome, awesome knife. Titanium liners, even though it's as thick as a frame lock, you can see the lock bar insert right there. Titanium clip and backspacer. Very strong detent on this one. And it's also a front flipper. Awesome, awesome knife. Very strong detent. It's crazy how strong the detent is on this for being a front flipper, but both of them work great. Next, we got the Kaiser Sheepdog Non-Flipper. Nice tall flat grind. This thing has amazing geometry. My card scales with steel liner that's very easy to get to. Fall shut action. The, the detent for the reverse flick is very, very well tuned. And you can see how good the cutting geometry is on this. It cuts so good. This thing is a cardboard destroyer. Now, the non-flipper version does have the deep carry clip that has flat screws, so that's very nice. And it's in 154 CM, a great blade steel for the the price this thing falls in and um, the my card is very nice just a great knife all around i really like this one they also have a mini version that's exactly the same next another usa made we got the spider co shaman now this one does have aftermarket red my card uh scales s30v blade steel has the compression lock just like on the pm2 Nice, tall, robust flat grind. Now, the one beautiful thing with a full flat grind is even when it is robust, it will cut very well because there's nothing stopping it. You're not getting any resistance. So like a hollow grind, you'll get resistance because even though it'll be nice and thin, there's a shelf. Now, in a lot of cases, hollow grinds cut way better than a lot of flat grinds, but there are a lot of cases when the geometry is done right, a flat grind will cut far better than any other grind. Kind of like a kitchen knife. If you think about how thin a kitchen knife is or a chef knife and how thin it is behind the edge, that is those usually come with really good geometry. So when you think about how good that cuts versus something that's gonna be like a deep hollow grind, the, the full flat grind with amazing geometry is always gonna cut the best. Awesome, awesome knife. I love the Shaman. 
definitely has good ergos. Like I said, it is a harder use knife while still being plenty slicey. Next, Civivi Riffle. Um, one of my favorite Civivis. Uh, the Spidey Flick action is just amazing. And I really like uh, Civivis 14C28N. They're doing such an incredible job. And it takes such a nasty sharp edge. You know, when the geometry is done right at the edge um, and the heat treat is done right, that's when you can get incredible levels of sharpness from a knife. It does fall on the heat treat and the, the grind. So CVV does a really good job with both. And their 14C28M, they're doing a great job with great flipping action. Nice tall flat grind. Now this one's not full flat because we do have the sweat or the, the hole up there that does separate the grind, but some of it is a full flat. Access to the liner is really good. Action is very, very smooth. We have the olive micarta scales, T8 hardware, deep carry clip. Awesome, awesome buy right there. Another Tucson. This is the TS301. This is one of my favorite Tucsons. Now, I'm not a huge fan of these upswept blades, but this one just happens to work out really good because of the geometry. And it has a very tall flat grind that is super thin behind the edge. You can see how thin it is behind the edge right there. This thing slices like a beast. And the ergos are so good. You see how neutral the ergos are. And it's relatively thick or pretty thick thick gives you a nice good ramp right here you lock in i mean it's just so solid in your hand you get nice push cuts it is a slicer now the action is so good on these the thumb studs you can place your finger right up on that flat part the detent is so well tuned fall shut action I mean, this thing is awesome. We have micarta and carbon fiber with a titanium. I'd call it a frame lock because it's so thick, but I guess it'd be a liner lock. Very, very awesome, awesome knife. This one is a Mazwan Mokhtar design, 14C28M blade steel. That hole right there is so you can get to the steel lock bar insert that's on the, the frame, you know, so it's steel on steel lock up when it does lock. But yeah, beautiful thumb studs. This whole knife is just super well done. I can get the, I can link these down in the description for like a hundred dollars. That's crazy. Let's get to the next one. Next, this one's a brand new one. We have the Sen Cut Episode. Now, this does come in micarta and other colors of G10. We have all, we have a very tall flat grind on this stone washed blade, which you see it does have the swedge up top. Clip point blade, great, great ergos, great access to the lock bar, very smooth, great detent. Now this is in D, or no, sorry, 9CR18 MOV steel. Send cut is we and Civivi's budget line. Um, not lots of milling on this, so the weight is um, very light for such a big knife or so, for a full-size knife. And it does have a flat crown blade that does have relatively decent geometry. It is a bit robust, um, especially compared to, say, the Actium, which a lot of people say this is very similar to. But they are very different in a lot of ways. Next, the Kaiser Roach. I am really liking this one, guys. I'm really liking this one. And Kaiser's talking about doing a mini version of this with a nice big hole right here. So it'll be a mini version with a spidey flicking hole. That sounds awesome. Great ergos. The micarta is so good. I love this micarta. Some of my favorite micarta yet from Kaiser. And Kaiser's been knocking it out of the park with their um, with their micarta. Deep carry clip, great action, stupid smooth action. The detent is very, very well tuned. Nice big forward finger choil, drop point blade that's uh, really nice. Nice tall flat grind. This thing cuts really good. You can see I have been cutting with it. Nice access to the lock bar. I'm, I'm really liking this one. Next, 
One of my favorite two suns, the Tucson TS129. It is a reverse flicker and a top flipping knife or front flipping knife. We have beautiful carbon fiber that's contoured, very smooth, and then milled titanium frame lock. This one's in M390 with a nice tall flat grind, and the geometry is amazing on this. You can get up nice and close to the blade. And then when you have ergos like this that are so good, coupled with amazing geometry like this has, it, it's going to be a great cutter. And this is such a good cutter. And you have a good utility cutting tip um, and blade shape. Lock bars, easy to access. Stupid smooth. Really like this one. This one's an amazing knife. Tucson TS129. Now, I was going to do the Artisan Centauri, but I realized this one's grind is just slightly taller. This is the Artisan Arion. Now, this one isn't as tall as a lot of the other knives on this list, but it's still a relatively tall flat grind, and it does slice very good, especially... Um, considering how thin it is, it's such a thin knife. So you do, I guess not considering, but you want uh, a nice thin, thin geometry and good cutting geometry when you have such a slim handle, because you know, the slimmer you get in the hand, the more uncomfortable it's going to be when you're pushing. So in this case, it works out really good. Very, very smooth, great action. The one I have is a titanium frame lock with burgundy micarta. S35 VN blade steel and a beautiful flat ground blade. Another two sun. This one is the 269, the TS269. Now this is a night morning design. And I got to say night morning knocked this one out of the park. It is a tall flat grind, not quite full flat, but the build quality on this knife is just it's insane. It's so, so good. You would think Riat did this knife getting it in hand. The, the milling is better milling than you see on thousand dollar knives. Um, the action detent is so well tuned. The, the thumb studs are so well placed, even though they are the pokey kind of thumb studs, you don't have to put your finger right on top. You can just go right next to it, like right on the side of the pokey, uh, part or the, the tip of the thumb stud and that's actually what you want to do because it just winds up working out that way where it's, that's the most uh efficient titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer and it does have heavy heavy milling to bring down the weight the geometry is really nice on this guy uh and the ergos just melt in your hand you have this nice little spot right there for your finger to really lock into very comfortable in the hand and you can also get up nice and close to the blade because it's not a flipper so they have this little open area right there it has somewhat of a persian style blade shape which i'm not a big fan of persians but this one just happens to work out good you still do good utility cuts because it's not obnoxiously tall so it still has the benefits of say a clip point or a drop point blade well you know so it basically just works just like a, a drop point blade or a clip point. Awesome, awesome knife. I, I really, really like this one. The two, the Tucson TS269. Next, we got the Kershaw Knockout 14C28N. They did make these in 20CV and M390 as well. Aluminum scale. We have the sub frame lock over here. USA made. But it has a very, very good slicing blade. This thing cuts so good. And like we were talking about with the Arion, it's very slim. So it's a good thing it does have the good cutting geometry. Now, this is assisted, though. So you have to overcome the spring. But because of that, obviously, it has good action. Aside from the spring, you know, it's not going to be a smooth drop or anything like that. But awesome, awesome knife. Um, yeah, this one was a good one. Next, the Spyderco Manix. Might as well pull out the Manix uh, 2XL as well. So we have the Manix, the Spyderco Manix 2 with aftermarket parts, USA made, S30V, and then I also have the XL. 
Love them both. Amazing action. They're locked up like a rock. I mean, they're just so tough, yet stupid, stupid smooth. I love the ball lock. Similar to the access lock, um, at least in the, the way you use it. But it's very different in the spring and the actual locking system because it uses a steel ball that's on top of the spring right there. So it makes for extremely strong lockup. Love these two knives. Next. Oh, we have one of my favorite Wii knives. This is the Wii Malice. Ferrum Forge design. And it does have a nice tall flat grind. Um, very good geom or not good geometry, very robust geometry while still being good cutting geometry. So it winds up being a, a good cutter. I do need to sharpen it though. I haven't sharpened it yet. I thought about cutting off this flipper tab. What do you guys think? If I cut the flipper tab off and just make it a reverse flicker, you think that'd be cool? Or you think I should just leave it the way it is? Now the detent is a little light on the flipper tab, but it's still a reliable flipper. I mean, I could flip it out 20 times and get it 20 times out of 20 and never fail it. But, you know, if I want to fail it, I can fail it. But to me, that's not that big of a deal. As long as you, when you want to deploy it, it'll deploy every time without wrist. And that's the way this is. But the reverse flicking action is really good. And I'd hate to increase the detent strength because it's so good from the reverse flick. But I can't help but think of how cool it would look without the flipper tab. The ergos might be a little bit better. But I do like two forms of deployment. So I don't know. But love, love, love this knife. Ferrum Forge design. I love Ferrum Forge designs. Next. Now, if you're looking for something smaller, I'll just pop this one out real quick. We have the Spyderco Chaparral. I think this is one of the best little backup knives, secondary knives, um, or even a primary, man. This thing, it cuts way above its pay grade. Super tough, especially for such a little lightweight knife. It has a little wire clip, so it's very easy to carry. Uh, fifth pocket, CTS XHP steel. Um, great ergos, but it's so slim. I think it's like 80 thousandths thick, the spine. So this thing is an absolute laser beam. And yeah, love this little knife. And you know what? We'll just call this one the last one. Last but not least, we got the Spyderco Slish Bowie. Full flat grind, amazing geometry. This is a great example of a knife that, because it's a full flat grind, it cuts so good. In the type of, it's like a mirror polished stone wash that it just makes things, makes it glide through anything you, uh, you put it through. CTS XHP steel, titanium frame lock, no lock bar insert, but stupid smooth. I love this thing. I can reverse flick it, even though the hole is a little tighter on the opposite side. If you're left-handed, though, it'd be real good to spidey flick. But, yeah, wire clip it works so good in and out of the pocket. I, I just, I really like this knife. It's very slim, slightly contoured. Great in the hand, though, um, and just... Man, just a great user. And it's hard to appreciate a knife like this without using it, carrying it, and actually enjoying it. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.